Hey guys, Garrett here, and today I want to show you the before and after transformation on my rental house. Quick backstory on this, my wife and I bought this rental house, it's a four bed, two bath, 1800 square foot house, single family home with a two car garage attached. Uh, we bought it back in 2015 from HUD, so it was a foreclosure. At the time they were listing it for about $78,000 and we just threw an offer in at 65,000 and for some reason they accepted. So I bought this house for 65,000 bucks. Well anyway, my wife and I fixed up the inside of it and then for the last six years we've been renting it. And so in that time we've had three different tenants in there. And recently my latest tenant informed me they wanted to move. So I had a decision, do I rent it again or do I sell it? Because I've been thinking of selling this property. And I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. The market is extremely hot right now. Inventory is so incredibly low, which is driving the demand up and the prices up. So I'm gonna capitalize on this. But I do have to do some work to this house and that includes the exterior. So let's get started. Here's the rental house that I need to work on. And actually the outside of it's not too bad but it does need some paint and if you really start looking at some of the siding it's showing a little bit of weather now that section right there isn't all that terribly bad but this piece of wood right underneath it yep that needs to be replaced the first step that I did here was power wash everything try to get that layer of dirt and grime and yuck just off of it. Then the next step is to get to replacement. And I've got one, two, three different pieces of siding here that I'm gonna replace. If you look at this side of the house, it's pretty obvious I have replaced some of this siding. And you'll notice that this siding itself is actually a different profile than what this is. And it's because I can't get that anymore. That beaded siding, the only way you can get it is if you get concrete board and the profile doesn't follow very well. So I just changed to regular LP eight inch siding to replace on this house. And realistically, since it's only on one side of the house, it's not going to look bad at all. Thankfully, from a previous repair, I had a little bit of siding left over. And when we did that north side of the house, there were three full sections here that I had previously replaced. So I'm able to use those again to patch into other sections of the house that still need it. And here's the back of the house. Again, not that bad, but desperate need of a paint job and just a piece or two of siding. This piece is getting pretty bad. I think I'll replace that. If we go to other sections of the house, there is some where, but it's not that terribly bad. We had a little bit of paint peeling right here, but the siding itself isn't in that bad of shape. So we're gonna leave that. Otherwise, the rest of the house looks pretty darn good. Like I said, I power washed the whole thing. You wanna do that because if there is loose paint like this, it'll take a whole bunch of it off. And anything that it won't take off, you wanna come back with a scraper and scrape what you can off back over to the north side of the house. At some point, somebody replaced all of this siding, so it's really good. But the trim, as you can see, most of the paint is peeling off of that. So it just needs to be scraped and repainted. And here's what the house looks like afterwards. It is so much whiter, brighter, just clean. The black trim really stands out. And I'm sure as you can see, as I get closer, there's an actual sheen on there it just looks it looks new it just makes everything look really good and really finished the ceiling up here was pretty gross before and now it looks fantastic here's where we replaced a bunch of the siding right down here as well as all of this everything just turned out real nice very clean and the back of the house same deal, everything looks really good. Replaced another stick of siding right here. Of course, everything is freshly painted. Here's the south side of the house where the paint was super thin. 
gave it a really good coat and it's looking great just like the rest of the house. I intended to have a lot more action shots whenever I was filming all of this, but I had a tenant that was moving out. They were playing music and singing really loudly during the time that I was also doing this work. So I couldn't get any good footage from it. And when I tried, well, yeah, that happened. Plus, I was bearing up against inclement weather coming in. We had really cold temperatures coming in. Keep in mind, this is December in Kansas, and sometimes it can be warm, and sometimes it can be extremely cold, and we get both of those. So even in December, we were having some 60-degree days, and so I took those days and just busted out everything that I possibly could with this. I basically came to the conclusion that I can either film this or I can get some work done and I couldn't figure out how to do both. So I ended up just getting the work done. But I'm gonna to try to do better in the future. And thankfully we were able to get all of this done before that snow came in. As you saw in the after pictures, there was snow on the ground and I don't know, it was about 20 degrees outside, so it was cold. But if you're wondering what the products were that I used on this house, really, I just had to use some siding and it was LP Smart Side. Uh, I had to caulk it and that was big stretch caulk. And I had to paint it and I used Sherwin-Williams Super Paint and I used a satin finish. And that's really it, about a week and a half to two weeks total of work that was put in on the days that were decent enough to actually work. So yeah, we were able to bust out that entire exterior. The one thing I didn't show you was the chimney up top had to completely take all of the siding and trim off of that and replace that as well. But the outcome looks fantastic. That place looks so much better. And while we're at it, of course, we cleaned up the yard as well. You know, whenever you have tenants, they don't necessarily maintain to the standards that you do. And so we had little tree saplings that were all over the place, cut those down. The tenant actually left a bunch of stuff. So I had to clear all of that out. Probably had about two to three days worth of just clearing out their stuff, including an above ground pool that wasn't supposed to be there. Anyway, got that all gone. The place on the exterior is looking fantastic. Next is the interior, and you're definitely gonna see that here. Make sure to hit that like button as well as subscribe. I'll see you next time.